looks like he's the only one left here. Hey there, Seafoam. I need a lift. Leave me alone, goddamn Snoop. Listen, pal. I need a lift to King's Island. We can do this the easy way. Or my way. I ain't going back there, Bear. It was a massacre. What happened? Is Amber okay? Did you take her to King's Island? Uh, who? Miss Ashworth. Oh, leave me alone. I told you I ain't talking. What a night. I sailed the seven seas, and now I'm gonna get shot in the sewage canal. Why don't I come back after you've had your strawberry daiquiris, or whatever? Now oh, what's that supposed to mean? Besides, my bottle got broken in the shootout. Wait, what shootout? Ugh, get lost, bear. What if I bring you something to wet that underbite of yours? Well, bring it, and we will see from there. It's really distant. I can't use it for anything. It's a miracle how the boats didn't get dissolved by this toxic dump. After a long day in the office, there's nothing better than a nice long fishing trip. If only I gave a damn about fishing or boats. Next stop, King's Private Island. Already too close to the water, if you ask me. After a long day... Quack. 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 Quack, 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 quack. You calm down a bit. Can't talk right now. Me mouth's too dry. How about I hold your head under water for a bit? You're, you're threatening to drown a shark. I see your point. Ah, <sighs> oh, that really hit the spot. <laughs> God bless you, Bear. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, what a terrible ordeal, Bear. Okay, so you got the booze. I need you to start talking, pal. Oh, it was terrible, Bear. I took the girl over there and she told me to wait. And evidently you did. Why, I had to get out of there, Bear. The place turned into a goddamn war zone. Was it the police? Aye, those crooks. I guess they wanted for King to hand them the girl. Did he? Well, I couldn't see anything, because I was running away and all. But uh, I don't think so. Listen, pal, I really need you to take me there. Aye, I'll take you there, but for a favor. That was the only bottle I had. No, King has something of mine, and I want it back. A suitcase. Sure, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> What's in the suitcase? You mind your own goddamn business, Bear. Fair enough. Let's go and try not to capsize this thing. Well, who do you take me for? Ducky, old buddy. You ready? What? What the? Hmm. Looks like it comes in crystal clean, too. Quack. Yeah, I should hurry before he gets too drunk to drive me back. It's a nice wall. Credit where credit is due. That's one big pineapple. Hope it won't collapse till I'm back.
There seems like there's money in blackmailing. Nice little setup King's got here. What is it with the rich snobs and fountains? What's taking so long? This place is making me nervous. Yeah. Well, you got the nerve calmer I gave you. This won't do, Bear. I'm not one to talk, but you may have a problem, pal. Uh, I... I hope the take was worth dying for. Idiots. What a massacre. It seems King's men stood their ground till the very end. What a massacre. I hope the take was worth dying Throwing darts at little rings. Come on. So, I guess they didn't get the bigger boat. Who the hell is this? No clues there. Take my word for it. It's fake. There's no reason why a shark would have fresh fruit around. Now that's one expensive coaster if you ask me. There seems to be a loose brick in there. I'm not really into pottery. It's nice, I guess. I can think of a couple uses for these. I'll just keep them on me. Hmm, maybe I can pull it out. I'm already dressed. Sharply, if I might add. I hope the take was worth dying for. Idiots. No time. Sadly. There seems to be a key in there. Right under the plush-eating piranha. Detective work usually doesn't involve this much furniture inspection. Hey, you should look at the sofa. No time, sadly. Ha, huh, I bet this was her idea, so she can stare at him judgingly forever. I don't think so, pal. Can't spare either of my drinking hands. You can really feel the vanity. As if he can read.
king can afford some really nice toys. As if he can read. Looks like they were searching for something. I should get this. I mean, one of these. Hmm. Seems like a mechanism popped a couple of books out. Yeah, can't help feeling this wouldn't happen if it was made out of lead. A strange looking key. One can never have enough keys. I should get this. I mean, one of these. Still in one piece. The Shark Father, written by Anne Mongano. Blackmailing for Dummies by K. Maranzano. How to Buy Friends and Assassinate People by I. Luciano. The Shark Father, written by Anne Mongano. Lonnie Frasco, written by G. Galliano. Thank you, Scooby-Doo.